we're not on the runway. So, um, let's take a swim. Or let's take off from the water, I guess. Because that, that works. I guess. And let's get to 35,000 feet. Hey guys, this is Multi24 Gaming, and I am here with another Extreme Landings video. Um, and what we're going to be doing in this video is part two of our business jet campaign. So there's challenges level one. We did the first six challenges. Uh, and now we've got challenges level two, which is um, the next six. And then it goes all the way up. Uh, but we got to beat these, uh, or at least get a certain number of planes. As you can see, there's three planes there uh, before we get advanced. So we're going to start, and I'm going to walk you through what we need to do and how to do it. Um, so, our first challenge appears to be miss the obstacle. Blah, blah, blah. Um, an op blah, blah, blah. I can't say that for some reason. An obstacle is present on the runway. Show your pilot skills by passing as close as possible. So, our goal is to land as close as we can to the obstacle without hitting it and making our plane disappear into a fiery inferno. So, uh, we're going to start that and we're going to start in the air. And we're going to try and get our landing gear as close to um, as close to the obstacle as we can. Well, we don't know what the obstacle is yet. Um, so we should probably be going pretty slow. And I'm not even sure which runway the obstacle is at. Um, Alright, let's speed up a little bit. I'm an impatient person. Let's see, uh, there appears to be two runways with a taxiway. Uh, I think it's the one that we're heading towards right now. Yeah. So we're just going to get over there and figure out what our mystery obstacle is. Let's slow down a bit. This plane slows down on a dime. Um, okay. Four hundred approaching minimums. Okay, we stall at about thirty knots, so we want to stay clear of that. I do believe the obstacle is on this runway, and I'm squinting to see if it's there. Fifty. Oh, there it is. Forty. Oh man. Oh boy. Okay. Now. Retard. Oh, <laughs> that was fairly close. All right, uh, 12 uh, point three two feet away from the obstacle, so our landing gear got pretty close. But you you want to feel like you're gonna smash into it. Um, and if you feel like you're gonna smash into it, then oh man, 0 0.32 feet from getting three planes, then you're probably good. Um, the uh, alternative is you hit your landing gear on the truck and. Um, you ruin a perfectly good truck. So, next, hit the point. Land in the exact spot indicated by the lighted signal. I can't speak today. Just, just don't even think about it. Just bear with me here. Uh, precision is everything in this challenge. Maybe if I take the bands out of my braces. Ah, uh, one second. Uh huh. Ouch. That was painful. Okay, my bands are out. Maybe I can pronounce things now. Ow. Okay. So, we're going to start this. Alrighty, we are here, and it appears that we have ended up in one of those airports on the coast of Italy. Let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, on an island in the coast of Italy. Now I remember. Um, so what we want to do is we want to get as straight of a shot as possible. So let's put our flaps down for the sake of it to uh, keep me from going too fast, because I have a tendency to. Um, at the angle that our plane is going at, it does appear we have crosswind, and that's never fun when it comes to landing on a precise spot. Let's put our gear down. Alright. Now come at a pretty slow place. We're going to start using the air brake a little bit. Oh, boy! Oh, this isn't going to be easy. Alright. Here we go, here we go! Oh, here we go! Down! Retard. Boom! Ah! What's going on? We did it. You gotta sort of dive into it sometimes. It depends on the size of plane. If you're using the business jet, you want to dive in and get that first landing gear down. But if you're um, 
if you're in like a bigger plane, you want to get the rear landing gear because that's really the only way it's possible. <laughs> we got uh, way less than half that was required to get 60 or uh, three planes. All right, our next challenge. Uh, short runway. Touch the ground and stop in the shortest possible space. All right, so we got to be going real slow as soon as our landing gear touches the runway. So we're at that Japan airport. Goodness gracious. I don't really, I mean, at least a third, if not maybe a fifth, of all the challenges occur at this place. Especially my least favorite, the one where you gotta take off real fast with two smoking engines with this darn plane. It was in my last video. Um, Alt-S, Speed-S, um, what does that say? Oh, it's not telling me my, oh. I see how it is. All right, so we're not gonna know our speed, which is not gonna help us. Um, for me, I've played this game for quite a long time, so I pretty much know exactly the speed we're going. Um, uh, as soon as we start to stall, we'll be at about 130 knots. We're probably going to 150 right now. Um, yeah, see. All right, gear down, flaps down. Now we want to be at the point of, there, we want to be at the point of not being in the air anymore 50, due to lack of speed. Alright, and then what we want to do is we want to put our air brake on, put our inverters on, and start doing zigzag maneuvers. Whoa! Okay, so you do not want to be doing zigzag maneuvers. I didn't take into account the, um, how, uh, unstable this little plane is. It's so little. Obviously, we can't put our gear down yet because we're going over 300 knots. Let's try and redeem ourselves from that last run. Um, come on, come on. Let me put my gear down. Thank you. We are going very slow. 20, 10. There. Now, very slow zigzag maneuvers not to the extent where this plane will tip over oh my gosh there's a ship it's a legit ship that's cool uh, another three airplanes that's very good on our part and even though we did manage to kill everyone on board um fast landing try to land as fast as possible all right so this is the opposite we want to stop the plane as fast as possible from when the actual challenge starts. So we're gonna hit start and we're gonna floor it. What's the deal? What's the deal? Oh shoot, we got no engines. Alright, um, so we gotta land as fast as freaking... Oh, frick. Alright, the engines aren't coming back on. We're gonna turn the APU on. That's gonna give us control over the aircraft. Now we're gonna make a dive. Uh, where the heck is the airport? That's the question. Um, it's right underneath us. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just dive from our 25,000 feet. Um, thankfully, cabin depressurization or whatever that is hasn't stopped. Let's, or otherwise everyone would be dead. Yes, oxygen is still on, so uh, I do believe everyone is gonna be alive. Um, now the goal. Oopsie daisies. Now the goal is to keep everybody alive and to successfully land the plane. Uh, whether it's comfortable or not is not my job. Ah, all right. Flaps down. Flaps down. Flaps down. Flaps are already down. All right. Now we're gonna slow to under 290 knots so we are able to land the plane. All right. <laughs> Let's do this! Oh boy, this is terrifying. And touch the ground. Kiss it. There we go. Now, no zigzag maneuvers here. I'm too scared. No engine. There we go. Ugh, maybe he's a little bit. I can't help it. Alright, we didn't have inverters, but we still stopped with, you know, like 40 seconds to spare. Or 60, actually. No, 40. Ugh. Alright. And, uh, we didn't beat, uh, three planes, but we... I think everyone's alive. Alright, so we both know that this this challenge was given to us last video, and we had both engines smoking, and we couldn't reach 35,000 feet without it screwing us over. So, 
And we got 35 seconds to do it. Holy smokes, how are... What? 32 seconds? Okay, obviously we don't have any problem with the plane, but let's just give this a go. Alright, I don't know I don't, what to expect, but... Okay, see, some, I, I knew something was up. We're not on the runway. So, um, let's take a swim. Or let's take off from the water, I guess. Because that, that works, I guess. And let's get to 35,000 feet. Now, both engines are working properly. So, we actually might make it. Oh my gosh. This feels so good to be able to actually fly. Um, 3,000... Oh, come on. You're going to give us five seconds? All right. Come on. We got this. There we go. We made it. We made it. Oh, you sucker. And we took off from the water. How many people has taken off a landing gear based plane from water? Only in extreme landings, people. All right. Next. One last challenge before the end of this video. Uh, episode 2. Route. Follow the flight route. Oh, I'm so good at this. We got to stay at the center of the rectangles, okay? So, um, I don't think it's timed. We just know it, well, it's sort of timed, but we just got to stay in the middle of these. Um, and really anything, as long as you get through them all, you, you'll do fine. Oh, what's the alarm? Oh, unless a single engine is off. Now, let's see if I can make it to the APU while still flying through these. Okay. Alright, I got this. Uh, which button is it? It's two, I think? Okay, now, uh, I. It's I. Hit I. Alright, I hit I. No, I can't see! Ah! No, I missed! I missed two! Alright. Don't try and mess with the APU. We can still fly the plane. It works fine. Um. Oh, man, I am not focusing. Okay, don't worry. We got this, guys. We still got double the number. We'll, we'll get to 20,000 points. As long as we stay in the middle of these, the rest of these darn boxes slow down a little bit don't take our chances through these turns okay okay gear down all right we're gonna pass 20,000 oh wait shoot it's 28,000 what's that supposed to mean all right we got this guys we're gonna do it 400 approaching minimum. Through the center of that. 300. Through minimum. the center of that. 200. Through the center of this. 50, Once I screwed myself 20. over by actually stopping before the last box. <laughs> that didn't. That was stupid. I was really irritated after that. All right, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Oh yes, 1,000. All right, and now let's stop. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, we have to get right through this one. Oh, no, 946. We're not going to make it. Oh. We, we just, we did pass it. We just uh, got one airplane. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so with this challenge, you can miss two boxes while trying to turn on the APU with, an, with a plane that's only got one engine running. Um, that's okay. Uh, now what we do know is that in, uh, episode three and four, we're going to have some, uh, challenges that are going to be a lot harder. Like, look how, I'll bet you this is going to be miss the obstacle. And then it's going to be like, oh yeah, by the way, you know, you've got a wing falling off or something like that. Th that's how it is. So, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It's wonderful that you've, uh, stuck with me through the entire video. Or if you skipped through it, good on you. You're a time saver. Just... Check out some of my other videos. It's I, I very much enjoy making them, and I'm gonna actually put my braces, brace bands back in now. So um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.